What's up everyone? 30 days, me wearing the Black Sock and Weber loafers. I wanna do a quick uh, one month, 30 day review, but I gotta go to work, so I'm gonna take you with me. Let's get to it. Bye, Bows. So far I've been wearing these consistently for about one month uh, and they've been great so far. Uh, comfort's been good, pretty, the braking period is pretty easy. Gotta walk to my car so I don't even remember where I put it. Sorry about the lighting. Um, but overall everything's been really nice with these. Uh, they're the Black Sock and Weber, Horse Bit Loafer, and the Crocodile. Man, how are you? They're actually really comfortable. I wore them yesterday for like 10 straight hours of walking around the city. I work retail, so my job, I'm constantly on my feet walking around. They are a bit on the wide side, and I could have probably gone up a half a size. So right now I, I'm a Nike 9, but I'm wearing these in a seven and a half. I could probably have done an eight, so I would almost recommend going a half a size, or I'd recommend going a size down from what your Nike size, or if you're an Adidas size, go down like a half a size. If you have really narrow feet, I would definitely recommend kind of figuring something out like that as well. But all in all, it's been good. One thing that I would change is I wish I went with just a traditional leather as opposed to the stamped alligator because it does feel a bit stiff, but they're great. They're holding up. I'm still wearing them today. Uh, I got them on right now and they're great. All right, so I'm stuck in traffic, so I figured I'd take advantage of it now. Um, in regards to break-in on these, it's not too bad. I would say I wore them for probably three days and they were very stiff. Uh, once the cork lining kind of packed in, they became really comfortable. I've been working all day. I've been on my feet for probably about eight and a half hours. I'm about to go get a haircut and kind of do my stuff. And I've had no problems with comfort at this point. Uh, the get them on, they are, the leather is stiff. So definitely want to wait, you know, definitely want to have a shoe tree, you know, use shoe trees. And then you also want to have like a shoe horn to slide them on just so you don't want to ruin the back of them. But overall, they've just been really great shoes. For the money, I think they're they're well within that price point, you know, compared to like a Carmina. They're just a cool shoe. Like, it's like an urban alternative or like a, a more kind of fun alternative to something that, like a loafer. Loafers can be a little stuffy and, and be a little basic. So these are just a great option that you can never really go wrong with. And I highly recommend them. But uh, I'll see you guys in a few. I gotta head into Apple and get a new uh, watch band. So I'll see you in a second. Are the shoes worth the money? Yes. I have had them for now a month. I've owned them for a little longer than that, but wearing them for the month. They are super hard wearing shoes that I think are things that you'll have for many, many years. Uh, the leather is holding up well. It's got a lot of moisture in it. Overall, just really, really great. Um, I'm in the middle of traffic, so I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, 
Well, didn't get a haircut. Bad traffic and I missed my spot. So we'll do that another day. Uh, in regards to my shoes though, the Black Sock and Weber loafers kick these babies off. Um, I wanted to go over the pros and cons of this shoe. There's quite a few different pros. I mean, vast amount of pros, uh, and but a few a few cons. Um, one of the biggest cons that I have, you know, with the shoe, which is honestly just a lot of fun. The leather is a bit stiff. I know I talked about that in a previous uh, in a previous thing, but they're super wide. That's my only really issue that I have with them is how wide they are. I wish that they would kind of narrow up the silhouette again, but then. It's not gonna. It's not gonna have its chunkiness. So it's not gonna have that kind of chunky feel if it's super narrow. So I mean, I guess I kind of get that kind of thing. My one advice is if you got really narrow feet, definitely wear them in the house um, before you walk outside, just because you want to be able to return them if they are a little a little bit uh, chunky uh, and. Putting them on is always a little bit difficult too. You definitely want to make sure that you're using a shoehorn uh, just to protect the shoe as well. And just because it is a loafer, it wants to be tight around the, the you know the arch of your foot and everything. So it's important to kind of have that. Sizing again is fine. You could go a full size down from what your Nike size is or a, a, a full size and a half down from what your Nike is, a nine to an eight or a nine to like a seven and a half. Uh, great shoe, but overall I would say that these are well worth the money, well worth the price. Uh, I think they're a great shoe that I'll enjoy for many, many years. If you like this video, make sure to leave a description in the below and I'll try to do more like this. But the Blackstock and Weber, uh, horse bit loafer, definitely worth the money, definitely worth the price. I think it's a great option for a great value, high quality loafer with a little bit of flair. See you soon, goodbye.